welcome back, back, back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Darnisha. But if you're returning millionaire, then you already know the vibe. It is a vloggy vlog. And today I decided to do like a day in my life outside of work. I don't know what to title this thing, but you know, we just outside of work so i just got off of work about 30 minutes ago so it is 5 24 so we're on our way to the house i just went to walmart y'all know i got i had to get dinner because i haven't been cooking in like forever and i cut those beads on my hair because i genuinely thought oh i'm gonna redo my hair but i haven't had the time so your girl been out here looking real crazy with her hair like this but i don't care like i don't care i should care but i don't care so anyway, I just wanted to start this vlog off. We're about to drive and, and I'll see y'all when we get to the house. All right, y'all, we in the house. Y'all know this lighting in this kitchen is terrible, but I'm about to start cooking the turkey meat. I got a few dishes in here that I need to clean. And then in the living room, I kind of want to just kind of straighten up just a little bit, y'all. I y'all know I got a roommate and everything. So I moved everything from downstairs to upstairs because I told y'all not too long ago I did a loan signing. So I needed to bring like all the stuff that was in my office up here. So the purpose of the signing. So I kind of moved it over a little bit. Which this is what it's looking like. A whole hot ass mess. But I kind of want to reorganize that. I don't know if I'm going to get to it tonight. And then this is still from the other company. So when I was working, they sent me the equipment and they still have yet to take it out of the home. So we got to figure out what to do with that. I just might leave this area alone. And then um, in the living room, it's like not really bad, but I just got random shit. Like I just need to move that and that. So I'll probably move that, but I'm just going to vacuum in here just kind of straighten up a little bit nothing too crazy just kind of get the stuff that's off in the kitchen i haven't really been in the mood to like clean or do anything when i get off of work because i feel like the time just is like over like by the time i get off of work if you not using every minute like your time your day is gonna go by so fast but i'm about to take off these work clothes and just put my robe on so i can relax a little bit um and then we're gonna go downstairs like i said and we're gonna start cleaning up a little bit and then start cooking dinner but yeah let me take these clothes off and i think i need to wash a load of clothes as well so we're gonna go ahead and take care of all of that i thought i was gonna do my hair again but i really need to go to the store and grab some hair dye so i don't know when we gonna do that but yeah I'll be back. Let me take it. All right, y'all. Don't talk about my hair. Do not talk about my hair. But anyway, I got some comfortable clothes on. But I wanted to show y'all my show y'all my exciting news. Like, I'm so excited about this purchase, you guys. First of all, let's talk about how I got this purchase. So, Peyton Charles here on YouTube. If you don't know, like, I love freaking Peyton. I've been watching her since her very, very first vlog here on YouTube, which is, I think, a year in now. A little over a year or so. I just got hip to pay in when she started vlogging but i watch every vlog consistently faithfully and she be doing giveaways on her channel like get to know me or like see how well you know me and you get a chance to win a hundred dollars so she did one on her um instagram recently i thought i she actually did one a few months ago i participated in that i won but i was too scared to like share my screen like i know I, I i had got every answer right i just didn't share it so i was too scared to share but this time i did it again and i won again but this time i shared so i won my hundred dollars and i'm like so excited and i felt like it only made sense for me to buy perfume like if you watch Peyton, you know she is queen of perfume she's always talking about her scents she's always talking about i, I like i know there was videos of women talking about like perfume hauls and what they wear but low-key i feel like Peyton is like the reason why so many girls talk about perfumes but whatever anyway i was in the mall not too long ago and i came across this mcm bag and i wanted it but only for the purpose of the bag this perfume it smells okay but 
I mean, it smells better now that I've been wearing it, but I feel like this should be like I feel like since this kind of like is a leather bag, I feel like the scent should be like a hint of let. Look at me trying to give them some notes. I feel like this scent. I feel like this perfume would be would have been perfect like that Tom Ford ombre leather. Like I feel like this just fits appropriately for this. Like it's so fitting with the back. All right, I'm all, I'm going on a tangent. Anyway, I saw this bag and I wanted it because the purpose of the bag. I didn't really wasn't a fan of the perfume. But when Peyton gave me $100, when I won my $100, I was like, I'm going to get perfume. Like, I'm going to get perfume. Like, it only makes sense to buy perfume. And I went inside the mall. I didn't have any intentions on getting this, but they had a gift set. And I got the travel spray, this big one, and then there's, like, a small one. And this was literally $105. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, why would I get anything different other than that so i bought this whole thing and i'm so excited and i've been wearing a perfume at night and it smells really really good but i'm not sure if i'm a fan i don't think i wore it to work yet i'm gonna wear it to work tomorrow because i have not worn this to work yet i'm gonna wear it to work there's i don't even know the notes in this like i literally do not know the notes of this perfume wow that's interesting. <laughs> I guess I would have to look it up to figure out the notes. But anyway, I just had to share that. Peyton, if you ever see this, thank you so much, girl. Like, I was about to leave, like, a whole little comment. But I didn't want to be fangirling, fangirling too much. I'm like, I don't want to be weird trying to be like, thank you so much. Like, I really, really love you, Peyton. I ain't want to be too extra. I'm too cool. I'm too cool for school. No. <laughs> so I ain't want to be fangirling too much. But y'all, I freaking love Peyton. Like, I'm so excited. Because your girl put me on. She be putting me on to so many scents. But anyway, let's go. Let's go do what we got to do. Do. Now what a girl got to do to make you see. That we should be together, you and me. I want your love. I feel like I never feel like I can make this proportion right like I always have more meat or I have more noodles and this time I feel like I got more meat but whatever this, this is it y'all and now I'm about to go over it and I'm about to just put this creamy melt mozzarella on top and just let it melt and then I'm about to make the bread and that is dinner Adulting literally sucks ass. So it's 7 30. I made the easiest meal you could possibly make. It's spaghetti. And it's literally 7 30. I already feel like the night is already over, but got me some white wine. I know you don't typically drink white wine. You typically don't drink white wine with spaghetti. But today, it's a Moscato type of night. So. About to eat this spaghetti, drink this wine, and I'll be back once we're done eating. I got a different girl every day. Else.
a week. You're too smart, you be a dummy to believe that stuff that you heard and they say about me. They say that I'm this, they say that I'm that, but all of it's fiction, none of it's facts. But you don't be hearing that about your love, you let it go, and one hearing out the other. They he say, he say, they say, I heard it be fake. We can't let it get on our nerves. She fears your boat, she just wants you to be like her. Is a free means company, so don't listen to that kind of great stare. Nothing but a liar taking a bed. It wouldn't mind trading places with you by my side in my Mercedes. Okay, you guys, so I just finished eating dinner and then taking the clothes out the washer, put it in the dryer. I had another load of clothes down there. Oh my gosh, so got my clothes for tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie, I don't iron my clothes. Aisha irons my clothes, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get this to Aisha so she can iron my clothes. I appreciate her for ironing my clothes. So I ain't even going to flex and act like I iron my stuff. Because I don't. I picked out something a little bit more professional tomorrow. Because I want to record like a another like day in the life work vlog. Y'all will see what we're doing tomorrow. But well y'all won't see. Because y'all I'm confusing myself. It don't matter. But anyway. I spent some time at work going over like a plan or like um just planning my content so i kind of want to know how you guys feel about this um like if this is a direction you guys would like to see the channel go or i don't know i'll be trying to ask y'all for input and things that y'all like to watch i know a lot of y'all just like to watch whatever i post so whatever anyway this is our calendar for may so as y'all can see we kind of got like a pretty filled calendar and i'm gonna post monday mondays wednesdays and fridays so on mondays i'm thinking like get ready with me solo date where i talk about like just different topics um we're gonna post that on mondays on wednesdays i'm gonna do my nine to five like work with me vlogs on wednesdays and then fridays i will post the content like whatever i did for that weekend we're gonna call it a weekly vlog when literally it's just like a weekend vlog but that is what we're gonna do on fridays i'm thinking that's just gonna be the schedule going forward so work wednesdays for the most part fridays like i said just like turn up i feel like fridays is a perfect day to like post turn up content and then mondays is kind of like self-care you know reinventing ourselves. i told you guys how i really wanted to do a lot of like self-love and that was supposed to be way back in february and we're now in may so i'm just not like really focused on creating that content so i just feel like mondays would be appropriate because i love doing my makeup and i just feel like it would just be a good mixture of being able to still produce like makeup content and then um give y'all something that's a little bit more interesting so let me know in the comments like what y'all think about that schedule moving forward and i'm gonna post them in the morning because i realized like posting them at eight o'clock y'all seem to like that time the videos do really really well at that time actually so i'm gonna continue posting them at 8 a.m um and for the most part i think that's mountain standard time no we're not on mountain standard time what fucking time zone are we on? I don't know what time zone Arizona is on. Arizona is on its own time zone. Yeah. So, 8 o'clock seems like a good time. So, I like that time. So, we're going to keep posting it on that. Mmm. okay you guys i am finally in bed it is 10 o'clock i was hoping to go to bed a little bit earlier tonight i don't know why i thought i was gonna go to bed earlier tonight considering i had so much on my plate um but it's 10 o'clock same time i usually go to bed every night 
just got out the shower i semi did my face routine i didn't want to do a full face routine because i ain't gonna lie i'm tired i'm just ready to go to bed so you know we're kind of doing good but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i hope you guys enjoyed this night after work with me and again let me know in the comments below like what type of content you guys want to see moving forward do you like the timeline of the content that you're gonna be getting let your girl know